you know, I can hear in the back of my head, Sean's on and, and other smarter individuals than me yelling. That's why you don't play a power play. You always flex on prize picks. The one small little departure blows up in our face. So we go four and one the other night. What? It's Wednesday, Monday night. We got a little greedy last night and the power play bus. So we go right back to what works. We go back to the Odd Chopper premium tool. Same one that I used on the Parlay of the Day video. Hopefully you watch that because that four leg smashed. I just, come on. This tool is working for us. I'm not going to blame it on one bad night. I'm not going to blame you. I'm going to blame me. I'm the idiot. I'm the one who decided to go a little off and take that shortcut that turned into a long cut. That's the worst, right? Oh, don't worry. I know where I'm going. And next thing you know, you've added about 40 minutes. And you're staring at everybody else who is staring at you in the car like what? And you know, there's just no defense. Absolutely zero defense. So we begin with James. That's right. James Outman. Now, targeting today, the theme on our five-leg flex play is going to be base hit. That's it. I just need one. That's going to be the routine theme here throughout. And in the case of Outman here, and it's going to be a lot of early baseball on the diamond, but with the Dodgers for say, for today, that little mid-afternoon matinee, they got Syndergaard on the hill. So you better go after Max Scherzer as fast and as quick as possible because you're going to have to do some heavy lifting with big Noah on the mound. Just... This is a hit game. This is a game that should have a lot of hits. And Outman does have some hits. He comes off a two-for-five game on Tuesday. Before that, he hit the Mets again, one-for-one, one, and that small little uh, one-plate appearance. Pinch hit shot, double. How about that? I mean, the guy is seeing the baseball just fine. I don't have any issues here against Max Scherzer. We open up with our very first leg with James Outman just getting us a base hit. That's it. Just get us a base hit. You know, it's the same thing for Jason Vossler, too. This one's early, so make sure you jump in. If you missed it, you already watched the video now, and the game's already started, don't worry. You can add it. Oh, the other four guys, and I'll give you a bonus one in case you missed it. In fact, the bonus one here, I know it's the NBA, whatever, but I would just throw in, bam, under 20 and a half points. That's the easiest thing for you. Right now, Jason Vossler... Hasn't had a hit in, what, seven games. He's had only one game with a hit, and that was a 13-0 route of the Philadelphia Phillies where he actually got a couple in there. But as we've seen with Vosler, and look, you know, the Reds are not a fantastic hitting team by all means. Vosler's going to get at bats, and that's something that we always want to target. Drew Rasmussen's on the hill. The whip is a little more concerning than the ERA, by all means. But we kind of knew that with Drew. Like, that's not anything new or special, by all means. I just need at-bats. And our tool, the Odd Shopper Premium Tool, is giving us a 56% chance of Vossler against Rasmussen just getting one. That's it. Just one. Oh, man. Now, this is probably playing with fire if you look at it from like a fandom standpoint, but I'm not really concerned. Like if I'm Mike Clevenger, for example, I, I think you can do okay here against this lineup. There are a lot of strikeouts. The movement of Turner throughout, we've seen. Schwarber is like strikeout more often than not. There isn't that level of protection, and I don't even know who Turner's protecting at this point. Look, this is a team that has talent on it, and the Phillies can hit when given the opportunity, but playing from behind on the road, Taiwan Walker on the hill, I don't know what Trey Turner is going to see. I don't know how much Trey Turner is going to see. And if I'm Clevenger, you go right after him. I'm not scared of that matchup either. Oh, Trey Turner owns Mike. I, I don't know that to be the fact. In this spot, with this situation, it's different when you talk about a Dodgers team that was just absolutely stacked. We don't have that yet until Bryce returns, until they do something with that Hoskins void. All of that, it, we don't have that to look at. 55% chance of him staying under two total bases. That's it. You can get a single. 
We'll give you that. You slap a single out there to left. That's fine. But you ain't getting two. Ilio Ramos. Giants. Now let's see what we have. By the way, I mean, with Turner, he had that three-hit game in Cincinnati and then hasn't had a hit in this series. And there's been decent to worse pitching. He hasn't had a hit. Turner is a fantastic talent, but he also doesn't have much behind him or even in front, depending on the day. Helio Ramos, I mean, looking at this one, limited action, we get it. Spot right fielder here, outfielder for the Giants, taking on the Marlins. What do we have for a pitching matchup? Anything at all, immediately that you look at, that is exploitable. Absolutely. Because... Trevor Rogers is exploitable. Probably the one or maybe few where you're just like holding your breath. You know, this is not Lizardo. This is not Alcantara. So you've got big body, strong gas there that can be thrown, but nothing to blow you off to where, all right, Ramos in spot starts has been able to take advantage in this month, mind you. Called up, active in this month, he's been able to take advantage of that. Six games. He's only played six games, and he has a hit, one hit in four of those six games. That's all we're targeting in something like this. Get a bag. 54% chance of that hitting. Same thing with Oswaldo Cabrera. Now, the Yankees here, again, we have to look at the pitching matchup first and foremost, but I can tell you that with Cabrera, you're going to see some spotty at-bats. You're going to see a couple of bunch hits, meaning games with like two to three hits, and you're going to see some offers in there. It's not a consistent product by any means, but we're going over a half for Cabrera. I'll show you what it looks like here on prize picks. But, you know, Yankees today, we've got this now a little bit later in the day, of course, evening, if you will. Brito on the mound. And then you've got Canning on the other side of it. And, and I don't know if that's enough to defeat this Yankees lineup. My gut would say it's not. Not at all. Now, here's the thing with Cabrera at bats. Three at bats in Minnesota against Minnesota. These, this is the home series, sorry. 4 4 3. Volume. We're targeting volume with these guys. Outside of Trey Turner, everything else is volume. Trey Turner, we're just saying that the circumstances here just make a lot of sense. That's your five leg flex play. Five, hey, 10X. That's all we care about. 10X. It's the only thing that matters, right? On the way out, because I'm already going to give you a free month of Stochastic Plus and a $100 bonus just for signing up. So I'll match your first deposit on prize picks just for signing up. Why not take advantage of this tool, by the way? We're done. You got your plays. You got your picks. You got everything here. I just use this. I'm using this routinely. Why not take advantage of it? I'm going to give you a week off. A week off. That's it. See you today.